What's going on, everybody? So back with you again with another GT3C, GT3B Fly Sky hacked uh, firmware that you can pick, that you can do yourself or have done uh, to your Fly Sky remotes uh, to take them up to eight channels. If you have not seen the intro to this or anything, um, I will link down below. Uh, to the first video, the part one of this, we talk about calibrating this radio, going through the global menu, uh, names, um, just kind of a brief overview of the firmware. Today we're going to be talking about programming channels, basically mapping your remote. This is going to, mainly what I'll be talking about today is the TRX4 Defender. Uh, that's what a lot of you guys are, are the TRX4 Bronco, the Blazer, uh, anything like that, that's kind of going to be what we're going to be focusing on um, is multiple channel vehicles like um, this vehicle here, which has, uh, you know, high speed, low speed, obviously steering and throttle, high speed, low speed uh, transmission, locking differentials. This one has a light kit. Uh, so I'm running six channels of control on this one. Now, basically, like if you've got a sport, it's pretty simple. There's not a lot of programming. Unless you want to map a few things or you want to like set up a light control or something. Uh, later, we'll talk about the Capra. Uh, we're doing four-wheel steer on this. And we'll go over how to do four-wheel steer because I've actually done it on the Red Cat Clawback down there. Um, and also, this is how I've set up my Traxxas Summit. Uh, seeing as how this has you know the same thing, lockers, high-speed, low-speed, stuff like that. So if you guys are running multiple channels, maybe you have winches, stuff like that, we're going to talk about how to go through and map this remote to do whatever you want. Now, when we're talking about a few things, this is the way I have mine set up. You guys can do whatever you want, and I'll sort of hit the high spots on that um, and everything like that. So or hit me up in the comments if you've got any particular questions on your rig. Maybe I can help walk you through it. So basically the way I have mine set up is going to be Basically, you know, throttle steering as normal. Now I have mine set up here on the basically the channel three button. This is my this is my transmission. So uh, low speed, high speed. That's how I have that set up. Uh, my front differential is on this top button. Now this is a. It's not just a momentary. It's a. It's like basically a two way switch. So basically, forward locks the differential. Back unlocks it. This is the rear differential locks it, unlocks it. So there's my standard five channels. Now up here on the, you basically have the enter and back button. My enter button right here on those is programmed to channel six for my lighting control. Now also here you have yours, we go over them part one. This is your uh, steering trim and throttle trim. I leave my steering trim alone. I turn this into a dual rate for the throttle. So if say I've got somebody that's new to RC wants to drive something, I always because a throttle trim's no good on a, a this is that's basically for gas vehicles, um, kind of like the big Baja trucks or a nitro. So on an electric vehicle, this really doesn't uh, do anything uh, useful for you. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to a dual rate. Uh, now normally this is going to be set to like a steer it throttle dual rate, a channel three uh, trim. You can do whatever you want. Like I said, you can change this any way you want. So uh, let's get set up and let's go for it. Okay, everybody. So let's get into programming here. So hopefully, like I said, you watched the first video of this series so you know how to kind of set a few things up, but we'll hit the high spots here. Let's go ahead and power up our radio. Now, like I said, I'm showing you this on a GT3C. If it's a GT3B, the wheel will be a little different, but the steps are exactly the same. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and short press. Go ahead and pick what model you want, whether you've already designated a model and named it. Uh, you're making changes, whatever. We're just going to go and we're going to set this up on a generic. Uh, we're just going to set this up on a generic model. So we'll just pick that one. Now, first thing we want to do is make sure we have our channels set. So if you're, say, you're, we're just going to assume you're doing six channels. So let's go ahead and go right here. We're going to long press, short press. So it's defaulting to three because I use a lot of three channels. Three channel radios, as I said in the first part in the global menu, you can set this to default to whatever you want. I just did it to three because I use a lot of three channels, it makes my life easier. So we're going to go ahead and set this to six channels, short press. We're going to go ahead and hit our end button. That's going to take us uh, back into this menu. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go over here to end point. Short press end point. Steering and throttle, we're not worried about. But now we're going to go ahead and change the channels we're going to set to our shift servos or winches or anything like that. We're going to go ahead and turn our endpoints down. 
And the reason we're going to do that is we don't want to burn a servo up, um, you know, till we can get them set. We'll go through and set our endpoints after everything's programmed and everything's said and done. Now, I generally go ahead and turn these down to about 40. That's generally a safe zone. You could go to 20 if you wanted. Uh, I mean, you could set them to zero if you want, but, you know, anything, say, sub 50 should be a relatively safe uh, safe place, especially if you're not putting in new servos or something. It's to say you're changing over a, def you know, a Traxxas TRX or something like that. So that's how I want to set, and sh set channel three. I'm not going to do channel four, five, whatever. Um, I would go ahead and use, I would go ahead and set down all the channels you're going to use. Now, if you're going to use channel six, like for a lighting controller, you don't need to worry about endpoints. Uh, only for ones you're using servos with. Uh, so we're good to go there. We'll just assume you went ahead and did that. Go ahead and hit hit our end. Back ourselves out. Now we're going to go ahead and get to programming now. Okay. So now that you've got your endpoints cranked down, so you don't overdo your servos, let's get to mapping. So we went over what all the buttons on the radio does. So let me show you how I set mine up and the steps you go through. Now, through. now most of these buttons, however you want to program it, the steps are the same. It's just what button you choose to put where. So scroll over here to re scroll over here to reverse and long press. Now, obviously we've got our trim one or for our, our steering trim. And then when we go, this is going to be our our throttle trim. I don't need that, so I'm going to show you how to change that. Now, like I said, you can do these for differentials, whatever you want. This is just how I do mine. The steps are basically the same. So we're going to go ahead and short press. Now we're going to go ahead and scroll this over to dual rate forward. That's what I'm looking for for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and short press. This is no long press or auto repeat, or you can set up as momentary. I want a long, no long press. That way, if I hold it, it doesn't just auto scroll. It's kind of click, click, click. So we're going to go ahead and short click. Now, steps. If I just do it as one, it's going to go like 99, 98, 97, 96. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this to 10. That way it'll go like 90, 80, 70. I don't want to reverse it. I don't want to clear it. All right, so there we go. We've set that one as our dual rate for throttle. Now, go into the first button where I showed you guys I had my uh, um, front differential set. So right now it's set as a duplicate of this, as a, as a steering trim. Short press. I'm going to go ahead and scroll over to. Go ahead and scroll through all these. You can set up as exponentials, whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and set this on channel 4 because that's where my front differential is riding in my receivers. You just pick whatever channel your, whatever you want this to do, whether it's rear diff, shift, whatever, just pick whatever channel that particular item you want to change is plugged into your receiver. So I'm going to go ahead and choose channel four. No long press. I want to jump 200. Well, I'll tell you why in a minute, because this is going to be an on, basically a lock unlock, so a two position. If you set it to 100, it's more of a three position. So we're going to go ahead and go 200. Short press, no reverse. All right, so now let's go double check. We got it correctly. We're on channel four. See, I accidentally shoved it. I actually rolled this and hit auto repeat. So we're going to go back to no long press. Enter. 200 is good. Enter, enter. All right, we're good to go. Now, dual rate steering. This is where I have, this is the second button down where I have my rear differential. So short press. Channel 5 is where mine resides. Enter. No long press. I want to step 200 again. Enter. 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 Now, channel this. This is the one where I showed you my rear, my transmissions on. Kind of where your middle finger would be. It's just kind of a click, a momentary switch. I can on off your know, button, just a single button. So that it's turned off. It's disabled right now. So I'm going to go ahead and choose channel 3. Enter. Momentary one means on off, like a light switch in your house. Momentary, momentary zero. I'm sorry. Momentary zero. Yes, is going to mean that when you push it in, it engages. When you let off the button, it disengages. It. It's not an on off. It's an on hold off button. Uh, so well, mine momentary one is uh, on off. So that's what we're going to go with. Short press. I do not want to reverse. 
I do not want to reset. So down to channel three. So that's now my now my shift servo is set. Now we've got our back button and we've got our end button. Now I'm going to go ahead and set mine to. I just set mine up here. You can set this. You can set anything you want. But I'm going to show you how to set one of these buttons because uh, you don't really. The end button, it, it, it kind of is useful. The back button is uh, not really used, so that's kind of a good one to, to go with. So we're going to go ahead right here. We're going to go ahead and set this to channel 6, because that's why I usually where I, <coughs> excuse me, where I put my uh, lighting control. So channel switch 6, we're going to set this, because on mine, uh, momentary 1 is, you know, whatever. But, you know, we'll leave this on momentary zero. You know, if you want to set it up, it's just a push and hold kind of switch. So go ahead and reverse. Good there. All right, we're good to go. So, now for some reason, a lot of times it does this. Um, it, scroll, it goes back to off. I don't know why. Sometimes mine does this. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm just going to go ahead and say channel six again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go through the setup there it held that time sometimes you gotta double and it like i said if you if you if you actually just i mean roll this left right it's it's really sensitive so we're gonna go ahead and back out of this now all right so now once you're done setting your switches you can make sure they work now this is why the endpoint set is so critical you don't want to overthrow these so let's go ahead and test what settings we've done so this is our steering trims so we can see we've got our trims all right, here's our dual rate. So there's our channel, our, uh, our our channel tool dual rate. You can see, you know, working working just fine there. Now, I'm uh, gonna crank this back up and see it's no long press, so it doesn't, you know, it's just gonna, you know, one at a time. So I can turn that all the way down if I wanted. So back to 100. All right, so let's go ahead and check. Here's, like I say, where our lighting control is. So, so right now I've got that on that one set as, you know, on, off, on, off. Okay, go down here to our, um, let me get my hand in here. So uh, this is going to be our transmission. So, okay, so I've got this. I, I need to go back in and change that. So this is set up more as a momentary. So you see when I hold it on, let off, off. That's how I have my dig set up on my on my Capra. So just I have to hold it in for the dig to be engaged. When I let off, the dig comes off. Works really well that way. So there you guys see how that works. So now let's go ahead and show you guys the differential throw. So there is our 100, negative 100. That's our diff locked, diff unlocked. That's why you need 200. Because if not, it would go unlock to zero, and then you'd have to hit it again. Uh, so now it's just a two position. So on, off. Rear differential, basically, you know, on, off. So that's how we set up our, that's how we set up our channels and map that. So let's go in now. And I'll show you guys here is how you're going to change your endpoints now. So go over to, say, channel three. Set your endpoint wherever you need. And what you're looking for is, as you roll this up, you're going to see the servo move more and more in one direction. You want it to move to its maximum point, but dot whining. You don't want to hear it go, ee, you know, you want to go to maybe the point where you hear that or it's not moving. You don't see the shit, you know, not you're really doing anything else. And then you want to back it down a couple, maybe five notches. Uh, so you don't overthrow and burn, especially your micro servos. And then once you get one direction, go ahead and turn your steering wheel. Go ahead and set your other direction and then check it both ways and make sure you're getting that to work well. If you do this correctly and you take your time, you won't burn up any of your micro servos. And once you're done with that one, just short press, then go to channel four, channel five, whatever, set your endpoints and you're good to go. So that's how you map your GT radios. So on the next one, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to do four wheel steering. Hope that helps you questions, comments, leave them. I'll try to answer. I'll try to walk you through uh, any of this. Um, and if you're looking for something in particular specific, let me know. Maybe I can walk, do a special video and walk you through on how to do it because uh, I want you guys to have a good experience with this setup because it works really well if you can learn how to program it. Catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy.